inch left. Yeah, about half an inch. Nah, maybe less in the front. It's pretty low in the front. So, I mean, obviously, same on this side because I mean, that would be kind of between the uh, exhaust manifold and the uh, pipe. So that's that needs to be fixed. So we'll go ahead and move back here. Man, that car is super dirty. It was clean a week ago, but yeah, I've got the single exit. Again, makes people angry because I have a single exit. That is gonna be about it for power mods. It's tuned by all wheel drive tuning, and it makes, on a Mustang dyno, it makes about 300 horsepower. On a dyno jet, somewhere in the I don't care range because it, I really could care less. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so let's move on to things that actually matter. Suspension, all right. I do have BC Racing BR coilovers, which are great for the street, but I'm actually thinking about maybe upgrading those in the future because I am going to start doing more road racing and more autocrossing and stuff like that with the car. So I want a little bit higher performance coilover. Aside from that, I do have white line front and rear 24 millimeter sway bars, which are Grand Cherokee. I can't... Don't yell at me, shut your mouth. Thanks for the inspiration, TJ. I have to be honest with you guys, like, I'm tired of looking at it. It's This is my 2009 Cayman non-S, like I said earlier in the video. It has 45,000 miles, so it's got a little bit of paint swirl on it. That's, that's to be expected, but dude, the interior is where it's at. This car is, uh, is mint, is hecking mint. Uh, the leather is good. It's not hardened at all yet. It's got, I mean, it's got, I don't know, it's just, it's got a lot of goods. There's a lot of just, mm, Evo GSR 10, 10, 2010, EO 10. The big review, baby. I am just so excited. This is so tight. I've one of these for forever. Um, I can't even. I got. I'm not. I'm not gonna show you me. You just want to see this. I need to wash it.